guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching happy 2018 oh my god it's 2018 it's a new year and apologize in advance for my raspiness i am just getting over a really bad cold but i have to get out content for you guys you know i have to suck the shit up and make a video um yes you guys can see now that i um upload twice a week which days a week i upload you guys will just have to subscribe and find out which two days i upload a week <laughs> but i upload twice a week um so yeah welcome back to my channel um and disclaimer i'm squinting because i am sitting godly close to my window like let me let me let me just show you guys hold on like Here's my, my legs, here's the wall, and here is my window. There's my backyard. I told you guys I was sitting godly close to my window <laughs> for the light um, because it gets dark so early that I'm trying to use the last moments of sunlight to make a video. <laughs> but um, as you can read from the title, um, I'm talking about some current events not necessarily world news um because like i care about what goes on in the world but i can give two shits about you know reporting the news you guys can watch cnn and all that stuff for that um mine's is more so entertaining um yes uh, and i have my phone here i wrote some stuff down um but first and foremost um just want to give a congratulations to chloe kardashian who is finally pregnant um some of you may not care but um for a person who has been following the kardashians for a very long time um it's you know i i am i am very happy for chloe she for some of you who don't know, she was dealing for infertility for a long time, um, you know, from her ex-husband, Lamar, you know, they were trying to have a kid and she just could not get pregnant. And finally, you know, with her current boo, Tristan, um, they are pregnant. So congrats to you, boo. Um, she may not know who the hell I am, but you know, you know what? I'm happy for her. I ain't no hater. I ain't no damn hater, but I'm happy for her. So congratulations Khloe Kardashian um and speaking of Kardashian slash Jenner familia um we might be giving a congrats to Kylie uh there's speculation that she supposedly is pregnant or from some people assume that she's already had a baby because she ain't been in the mix of the family stuff, you know. She she wasn't in the Christmas card this year. And, um, yeah, so people are like, what the fuck, Kylie? What What's going on, you know? You're a social media mogul or whatever, you know. But you ain't been posting on social media. Um, what What's good? You know, what what's good for us who want to know? What's good? You know, we want to know what's going on. Um, but, you know, if she is, congrats. If she isn't, you know, hope all is well. Hope all is going good. You know, maybe she's going through some stuff and she just doesn't want the damn cameras in her face. I know there's times where I don't want a damn camera in my face. But, you know, it's her life. You know, she can do what the fuck she wants. And that's what she's doing. And, um, you know, people are all like, oh, my God, she's not posting. Oh, oh, well, there's a lot of celebrities, if you guys haven't noticed, who don't put their 24 live, 24 seven lives on social media because they want their privacy. And that's what she's doing at this moment, you know, and kudos to her, you know, for someone who's been in the limelight since, you know, the day she was damn near born, you know, so it's just like, let, let her do her, leave her, leave her alone. Leave her alone. That's it. If y'all don't do nothing else in 2018, leave Kylie Jenner the hell alone. Next next news. Um, and I found out this morning, literally this morning, that um, the daughter of Eric Garner, um, if you guys don't know who Eric Garner is, um, he is the um, big African-American gentleman a long time ago that um was killed 
in police hands. He was a gentleman who was like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe, you know, and he ended up dying, um, you know, from this, you can see it by this little clip here. Um, his daughter, who became um, a very big activist, you know, um, regarding crime and, you know, police brutal brutality and things like that, um, unfortunately has passed away. And she was only 27 years old. Uh, she had been hospitalized for a while from a heart attack and unfor unfortunately lost her life. So, um, you know, rest in peace, Erica. Uh, you know, you're you're up there with your dad now and, you know, you're no longer in pain. And, um, you know, she she was young for to deal to be dealing with heart stuff. You know, I mean, health issues can affect anyone at any age. But, you know, to be 27 and just had a heart attack and pass away, it's just like, wow. You know, you don't hear that from, you know, from, for, you know, from somebody being 27, you know. So, um, yeah, you know, unfortunately, that happened. So, rest in peace, Erica. Um, you know, you definitely left your stamp. On, on you know in, in society especially for individuals who do follow the news who do follow um you know situations regarding what you were an activist for you know i i didn't follow you fully but um you know it, it's still terrible to hear something like that so rest in peace to you um and uh last but not least i am going to give my thoughts on a movie review um i've heard a lot of positive things and I've heard some negative things about this movie um, that has came out actually 2017 um, so it's not a it's not a 2018 movie it, it basically you know hit off the end of 2017 for me which is the movie bright on Netflix it's a new Netflix movie um, starring Will Smith um, who is a cop in LA and it is more of like that sci-fi fantasy so if you're not into that you may not like it um, but for anyone who knows me and knows my nerdy side I'm all for that type of movie. That that is that is my thing. That is my thing. Um, and you know what? In my review on it, I absolutely fucking loved it. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Told y'all I had a cough. But yes, I absolutely loved the movie. It was some funny parts in there. It was serious. Um, you know, they deal with what they call orcs, you know, in the movie, which to me were kind of like ogres, you know, if you guys know Shrek, um, it's kind of like, you know, that type of persona, but it's real life. It's not, you know, um, it's not animation. So it's a real, you know, movie, but you know, it's about them battling, you know, these big battles of the universe in the streets of LA. And, um, I thought it was pretty awesome. So, um, I definitely give that movie two thumbs up. You know, I've heard some people, oh, Will Smith has to get a new agent. This movie was whack. Da, 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 da. And it's like, if you guys watch the trailers for these, if you guys read, you know, a little bit of the description about the movie, it'll kind of tell you if you're going to like it or not. You know, when I, you know, want to watch a movie, that's what I do. I watch a trailer of it. You know, it's called go on YouTube and search movie trailer of, you know, the name of the movie that you want to watch. And it's called do your research. You know, they got rotten apple or rotten rotten apple <laughs> rotten tomato you know it's called do your research see if you like it you know just don't excuse me just don't bash it you know um yeah it's not one of those typical movies that you would see will smith in but it kind of made me think of suicide squad-ish you know um you know with the characters and things like that and battling you know good you know they're not necessarily these really really good cops but they battle evil you know and it's just like it kind of reminded me of Suicide Squad um so you know if you if you like that you may like Bright and I definitely would say watch it you know but you know for all these people who are bashing it you know it to me it's a good movie it's a good movie I like it I liked it um so that was a, a great movie to end my 2017 um as far as movies that happened during the year of 2017 that I really enjoyed? It's questionable because I can't even think of one down one <laughs> over the past year that I was like, oh my God, you had to make sure you see this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this current you know, current events type of video. Um, if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you didn't, 
still hit that thumbs up and comment below why you didn't like it or maybe I didn't talk about something that you would have wanted to hear but you know this is my YouTube channel I kind of talk about stuff that I'm interested in so you know that you know I guess it really doesn't matter but anywho leave comments down below if there's some stuff that you guys want me to talk about put my opinion on do some research about um I can definitely do that for you um and uh yeah so <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed why the hell haven't you already hit that subscribe button that's down here or it could be over here or it could be over here depending on what type of device you are watching this on um and make sure you hit that notification bell because like i said i upload twice a week which days i upload you just have to come back and find out you have to subscribe to find out so make sure that you do. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. So peace out.